Showbiz Pizza Place was a pizza chain and family entertainment center founded in 1980 by the chairman of the Brock Hotel Corporation, Robert Brock, and Aaron Fector, who owned Creative Engineering. Brock initially invested in Nolan Bushnell, the founder of Atari. Bushnell wanted to get into the arcade business and opened up Pizza Time Theater as a place where kids could get pizza and play arcade games. Predicting that parents might be hesitant to bring their children to just an arcade, he devised animatronic entertainment to draw families to his new restaurant. Shortly after this startup, Brock met Aaron Fector, and at the time, Fector had just finished building an animatronic musical act. Brock realized the animatronics were more advanced than Bushnell's, with subtle movements and facial expressions that changed. As a result, Brock canceled his deal with Bushnell, and teamed up with Fector's company, Creative Engineering, to start Showbiz Pizza Place. In 1980, the first location opened its doors in Kansas City, Missouri. Showbiz Pizza was set up like a dinner theater with their stage and dining area separate from the game room area. They entertained guests through a large selection of arcade games, coin-operated rides, and animatronic stage shows as a way to provide a complete package of food and entertainment. This was very similar to what Pizza Time was doing, which did create problems in the long run because they were competitors. The dining area housed the main attraction. There were three stages, and when the stage curtains opened, the rock of fire explosion appeared. Families watched a musical mix of lifelike animals as they played the piano, beat the drums, and strummed the guitar. Rock of fire explosion played medleys of classic rock, pop, and country, as well as some original music. Rock of Fire Explosion consisted of a bear named Billy Bob, the leader and mascot for showbiz, Fats Geronimo, a big gorilla who played the keyboard, Duke LaRue, a spacesuit wearing dog on drums, Beach Bear, a surfer polar bear that played guitar, and Mitzi Mozzarella, a cheerleading mouse who provided vocals. There was also Looney Bird and Rolf DeWolf, who added some comic relief. During a time when arcades were all the rage, Showbiz had a large game room with all the best games, such as Galaga, Pac-Man, Qbert, Dig Dug, and Tron. If you wanted tickets to redeem for prizes, Skee-Ball and the infamous Whack-A-Mole were the best places to use your golden tokens. Before leaving, everyone had to stop by the prize counter to trade in their hard-earned tickets. 
you certainly couldn't leave without a new yo-yo, pencil, or some neon jelly bracelets. Did anyone ever actually earn enough for the remote-controlled car? In 1983, the market for video games crashed. Since showbiz was essentially a glorified arcade, the crash had a serious impact on it. And remember pizza time? It affected them too. In 1984, Showbiz purchased Pizza Time Theater, who had their own animatronic stage show, the star of which was named Chuck E. Cheese. It continued to operate both Pizza Time and Showbiz locations independently. Through the end of the decade, showbiz began losing money, and management decided the increasingly elaborate and expensive Rockefeller Explosion Acts were in part to blame. In 1990, Fector's company, Creative Engineering, was phased out from showbiz. Fector didn't leave empty-handed, though. He took the Rockefeller explosion with him, refusing to sell showbiz the character rights. The Rockefeller explosion animatronic show was then sold to other restaurants and entertainment centers, such as Circus Pizza, Pistol Pete's Pizza, and Billy Bob's Wonderland. Showbiz was forced to convert the remaining Rockafire robots into Chuck E. Cheese characters. Storefront exteriors were redone, and the conversion over to Chuck E. Cheese was complete. Poor Billy Bob and Fats were pretty much forced into retirement, but for kids growing up in the 1980s, they will always be legends. <laughs> 